been a while been a while since I posted one of these and last one I did kind of went a little viral got kind of crazy but uh I thought I'd throw this one out there because it's a 57th birthday for a crazy old man and I wanted to share something with you um a lot of reflection a whole lot of reflection especially today and I was, last night I was talking with my wife and stuff and I remember back when I was 20 especially like 16 17 when you know everything that uh man, 57, no way I'll make it that way, I'll be dead, that's old, I mean, that's old. And I kind of sit back and laugh because I'm 57, feeling pretty good. So, uh, what I wanted to share with you today is, keynotes are starting to open up around the country and I'm really excited, I've got some contracts signed. I'm gonna be Indiana, Missouri, um, Wisconsin, hopefully, uh, a couple other places I can't even remember and be back around people, so I'm touching these up and one of the pieces I added I wanted to share with you today <clears throat> I was uh, on LinkedIn and Zach Hutchinson had this post about a life chart and my wheels started turning and I was thought it was the coolest thing since cream cheese and I want to thank Zach for, Zach for pointing it out because I immediately went to Amazon and I ordered it and it's behind me right now if you take a peek at this chart I stapled it out here, it's been upstairs in the bedroom. Weeks of my life. What it's done, there's 52 little squares going across and they go all the way down to 100. So you've got 52 weeks, you got 100 square, 100 years. And I went back and I filled each one in. And I was doing it and I was reminiscing going through because you know, one through four years old, you don't remember a whole lot, but I did have a memory from four talked to my parents about and they remembered it it was pretty cool and I went through high school I went through I actually thought about middle school for a while college uh, breaking my back uh, getting my first teaching job at Shepherd and just it was so cool going through it looking at the weeks as I sat here tonight I got the grill cranking for my birthday dinner which is an amazing feast my wife and I are preparing for the children I wanted to share with you what I got out of this because I chatted with my mom on the phone today and she's 82. So I went, I just filled in my last box for year 57. And I started looking at where 82 is at. And it's right here. So I looked at this section of about 25 years to see where my parents have lived to be 82. I've got about 25 good years left. And I look at all that black behind me. I got a new attitude quite a while ago called focus forward. I reflect back, but my focus is forward. I mean, I could go back and look at all the negative things in my life. I could go back and just let that eat me up inside and basically kill me young. Or I can turn around and I can focus forward at the good things to come, the good people around me. And it's so easy to fall into that, you know, hate category, this, you know, vengeance category and stuff. And I could focus my whole life on the three that wanted my wife and I out of Shepherd, made our lives absolutely miserable, but they mean nothing to me. That empowers them. So what do I do? I take that 25 years and I start looking at what I can do with my family, for my family, for myself. Um, got 11 goals that I set the other day. I wrote down for myself and I've got it in this book that Jake Lazarov recommended to me. Uh, it's pretty phenomenal about a guy that's been through hell and back. And it's got me focused that it's not if I fall down, it's not if I cry, it's not if I'm screaming in pain, as long as I move forward and don't quit. The focus is forward and I'm so excited for fall. Got my wife back with me, got my boys with me. I get to teach with one of the best administrators on the planet with Jamie Nelson, phenomenal superintendent Roger Cole. Dale Rogers traveled with you to Colorado, but mucho respect, absolute monster respect for the three of them. And it's become quite an exciting time. So we're preparing to focus forward. If I sit there and dwell upon the past, all it's gonna do is kill me young, waste my time. So it's kind of like I, I called out Nellie and Dan and I said, hey, we either gotta focus on Africa, we're gonna climb Kilimanjaro, or we're gonna focus on something else and South America came up with Aconcagua, a couple of climbs left because I'm looking at three year increments now. Between now and 60, what can I do? 60 to 63, 63 to 67, 67 to 70. 
And a lot of people will look at it, man, you gotta know your limitations. You've gotta take it easy. Well, sorry, refer back to that Kit Kat bar. That's my life. I'm gonna live it how I want. My body will tell me and my brain will tell me and the close people around me will tell me when it's time to put away those ideas. But right now I'm looking at, I got a couple more mountains to climb. I got our boys to take care of with my wife alongside of me doing everything that we do. But I'm telling you, the one thing I wish I'd have done with this chart as I was doing it, I wish that as I went through, if I could have done this when I was younger and say when I was uh, 16 years old, had my first kiss, okay? Put a one by it. And then on a separate sheet or in a book or a notebook, put a number one down and write what happened. And I might've put a gold color on that one. You know, I start looking at it when uh, <laughs> I got my ski patrol license way back and I was a ski instructor, Shaney Creek. And I, I look at that, I might've made that one blue, but I'd, I'd have put a number next to it and I could have wrote so I could have remembered. And back November, 1986, when I broke my back, I would have colored that one in black, even though without that, I don't take the road I did through recovery and rehab to go through with all the stuff I had to do for a year to get my, my back back and be lucky to be walking. So but if I'd have kept track of that, that's what I would change if you decide to get one of these. But what I love and I wanted to share with you was the focus is forward. I've got about 25 years if I live as long as my parents. Now, I've lived double that plus a little bit, 57 on this planet. So my question is, and I'm actually writing this out because I'm setting 11 goals for my 58th birthday that I'm going to accomplish this year. And I'm not sharing those. I shared those with two close people by me and they all said, you can do every single one of these. And I said, if I call for help, I need you. And they immediately said, no problem, man, we'll be there. So I just want you to realize, focus forward. Don't focus on the negative. You can't change it anyway. What you can change is be the best possible version of yourself for the amount of years that you've got left. And when you put it in perspective, like I've got about that much, 25 years if I live as long as my mom and dad, man, there's not a lot of time left. I gotta get it rocking, so you do it too. But hey, this might be meaningless. It might give you something to make fun of. I just know that if I can find any way to change a person's life and get them to focus forward on the positives, let that past go, do it. Snap that Kit Kat bar if you want, but bite into that sucker any way you want. And if you need any, I don't know, somebody to talk to or chat about it or how you want to set some goals or do things like that, I'm pretty easy to find. But I just want you to know something. Life is so precious and no matter how bad it gets, it's still life. So do yourself a favor. Focus forward. My name's Jay.